Hey everyone, this is Riddle Hugger Asia Raven and Spin Master ended up sending these two toys from the Black Adam movie line and yeah, they sent them over for free for review. This is not a sponsored video, I'm just going to unbox these toys in front of you and give my thoughts and whether or not this is something that you should look into, especially with the holiday season coming up and if you have someone in your life who is a fan of the Black Adam movie. So, yeah, let's start with this 12 inch figure of Black Adam. So, this is what the figure looks like. It comes in this plastic packaging. It's a first edition release. We have uh, Dwayne Johnson's face at the bottom of the packaging, the logo, warning, joking hazard, small parts not for children under three years. This is what it looks like from the side. It's just a clear plastic. Back, uh, covering at the front and on the back we have the other toys that you can get from the line we have black adam and the rest of the line has uh, cyclone atom smasher hawkman dr fate and yeah black adam and some details if you guys want to read these da -da 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 -da. so yeah let's open this up so i open it up from the bottom using a scissor so that i can save as much of the packaging as possible so I'm just going to try and slide Black Adam out, if that's even, if I'm, I'll be, I'm not really sure if I'll be able to do it. Yeah, you can just slide him out. Okay, come on out, Black Adam. Okay, so I saved the packaging, good. So this is him, out of the box. He has the joints, he has this plastic string, keeping him intact with this plastic. So let's take this off too. Okay, so here we have it. We have the 12 inch Black Adam figure, which is stylized after the movie. And he does resemble Dwayne quite a lot, if I say so myself. So let's try and zoom into his face. Yeah, I mean, this is the rock, right? I think that the designers did a good job when it comes to the likeness. We have a little smirk going on. We have the eyebrows over here. As far as our articulation is concerned, we have articulation in the neck. You can, oh, okay. Oh, you can, you can. You can basically like roll his head around the entire way. It doesn't move side to side. We have articulation in the shoulders. Oh, the shoulders can also move out. We have articulation in the forearms. You can rotate the forearms. You can even rotate the wrists. You can bend the elbow. Come on. Mm. Yeah. It takes a bit of effort, but you can do it. And I think it will come loose as you continue playing with it or something. So yeah. Uh, articulation in the elbows. Articulation in the hips. Can he open his legs? Yes, he can. <laughs> and we have articulation in the knees up to here. No articulation in the ankles. And the cape is actually made of like, it's not plastic, it's a piece of plot, which I really, really like. Now, as far as my opinion goes, the highlight is basically this. Uh, let's see if my camera can focus. Focus camera, yes. So if you notice on Black Adam's outfit, there's this like inscription. Now that's a detail that I really, really appreciated. Like for me, when it comes to this particular toy, yes, there's detail on the belt as well. Uh, all the way to the back, which is good, and the inscription, and the inscription is on the back as well. So yeah, as far as my opinion goes, the inscription is definitely a highlight. And there are other details on the outfit too. There are details on his, his arm uh, bands. And yeah, even his shoes, a lot of detail going on, which adds a lot of value when it comes to the fact that, yeah, this is a very affordable figure. Now, can it stand on its own? Let's see. Let's test. Can you stand on your own? And yeah, he can stand on his own. Just great. Now, if I were to nitpick, my only criticism would be the fact that I don't necessarily like his hands being like closed into fists. I get it. I get it that Black Adams likes to punch, but I would have preferred at least one of the hands to be a bit open so that if you have accessories that are, are, that are to scale when it comes to 12 inch figures, you can have Black Adam like... Uh, wield an accessory even if that accessory belongs to another action figure. I would have liked that. That would have added another layer to your uh, play sessions. Now as far as the plastic is concerned, it does feel a bit hollow. Yeah, it does feel a bit hollow. 
So I really don't want to do my drop test on this particular toy. I think it can survive. I think it can survive like a five foot or six foot fall, accidental fall, but I can't really guarantee it. And I really don't want to test it out myself because again, this figure does feel a bit hollow. But again, as far as the price point is concerned and the figure overall, it does have a bit of weight to it. And I, again, I like that uh, the cape is in plastic. I like uh, the likeness that's going on in the face. I like that he can stand on his own. I like the articulation. And most of all, I like the detail on the outfit. I really like this. Coming to the playset that you can buy when it comes to this line, we have the Hawk Cruiser Patrol, which comes with two four inch figures of Black Adam and Hawkman. And yeah, the cruiser itself is like over 16 inches wide, which I mean, this is a big play set. And if you look at the bottom, it opens up so that you can have one of the figure uh, be the pilot and the other one can be in the cargo hold, if that's what you call this. So small parts, not for children under three years. This is what it looks from the side. Come on, like this is a big play set. It, we have uh, the rock's face on the side. I think it's the same on the other side. No, it's like we have the logo. And on the back, we have the picture of the cruiser. We have the rock, uh, the rock's, not the rock, my bad. <laughs> Black Adam's figure over here. We have Hawkman over here and we have accessories. So yeah, let's open this up. I think I should be able to like slide everything out. Uh, we have like pieces to keep the cruiser in place oh you actually have to assemble the cruiser okay okay I mean of course because the wingspan is quite wide so I'm going to take everything out of the box first okay so from inside the box we have the two figures we have Hawkman we have Black Adam and we have our cruiser over here which we have to assemble we have to attach the wings that come in a separate bag so let's first talk about the cruiser so this is what it looks like from the top this is what it looks like from the bottom not a lot of detail going on here at the bottom but again then again it doesn't really matter so the play element is that this cruiser actually opens up okay hmm Hmm. Okay, so if you look at the details, yeah, the cruiser does have details inside. However, however, I would have preferred uh, like two or three chairs over here. I mean, they could have molded that in, in here, right? It could have been possible. They did give us details over here. They did give us like a screen over here. Uh, I mean, you can use your imagination, whatever you want to use these things for. So there is a play element present. However, I do feel that it should have had uh, two or three chairs. So this is what it looks like from the back. Come on, focus camera. And at the front, it opens up from the front as well. So this is what it looks like from the front. We don't necessarily get a clear glass. It's just paint to, to show us where like the windows are supposed to be, the screen uh, and the cockpit. So this is how it opens. And we do have one single chair inside uh, when it comes to the details and we kind of have a control panel over here to the left. So there is details detail going on if you want to start playing and stuff. So this is what the wing looks like. We have details going on over here. We have gold col coloring going on over here at the front as well. The other wing is the same. So let's let's attach it to the main body and see if it's kid friendly or not. I guess I just put them in here. What am I supposed to do? Just push them in. Let's see. Yep, quite easy. You just push them in. Let's do the other wing. Just simply, yeah, they just slide right in. And I'm trying to pull them and they are not coming off. So you don't have to worry, yeah, I'm just shaking. <laughs> so you don't have to worry about the wings coming off while you're playing. And it, the plastic seems durable enough. So even if it like falls on accident, I think that, yeah, it won't break. It won't break easily. So let's place the patroller down and let's look at our figures. Let's, yeah, let's take out Black Adam. 
and Hawkman, the four inch figures. So let's look at the Black Adam figure first. So because it's a 4 inch figure, I don't necessarily expect a lot of detail. So the likeness, I mean, yeah, it works, it works. But again, there was a lot more detail going on in the 12 inch figure. You don't necessarily get the inscription on the outfit. However, you do get other details on the outfit. Yeah, no inscription on the outfit. Uh, we have articulation in the head. The head rolls around uh, three, uh, three, six, 360. We have articulation in the shoulders. The arms can come out like this if you want. Articulation in the elbows. No articulation in the wrists. No articulation. Is there any articulation? Uh, yeah, there is articulation in the elbow. So there's that. However, no articulation in the wrists and there is articulation in the shoulders. There's articulation in the hips. The legs can come out like that. They can also come out. Can they, can they be, can, can they move forward? Let's see. Yeah. Yeah, they can. There's uh, articulation in, <laughs> in the knees. No articulation in the ankles. Uh, let's see. He is supposed to sit, right? Yeah, he can sit and sit. There's articulation in, yeah, you can either bend the knees or you can roll them around. So yeah, basically he can sit in the cruiser if you want him to sit in there. And he doesn't have fists, so you can make him hold certain accessories, which we'll get to in a bit. Now let's check out uh, Hawkman. Now, even though this is a four inch figure, you can still see detail going on in the helmet. There's detail in the eyes, uh, his facial hair. However, when it comes to the likeness to the actor in the movie, hmm, not a lot of likeness in my opinion. Uh, as far as the outfit is concerned, again, a lot of detail in the armor, uh, shoulder, articulation in the shoulder. Uh-oh, uh-oh, yeah, uh-oh. So there is articulation in the shoulder. It's the same joint that Black Adam has, but because he has this, these armor pieces on top of the shoulders, you can't really make his arms go out. Yeah, that is a bit disappointing. That's kind of like a design flaw. So yeah, keep that in mind. However, he shares the same articulation as Black Adam. You can rotate at the elbow. Uh, yeah, uh, again, the legs can come out. Articulation in the knees. Yeah, same articulation as the Black Adam figure. However, it is a bit disappointing that he, because of the armor pieces, his arms can, can't come out. Now, if the 12-inch figure is the same as this one, and that would be very disappointing that you bought a 12-inch figure of Hawkman and you can't make, him, make his like arms go out because of the armor, uh, because of these armor pieces, that would be disappointing if you end up buying it. As far as the detailing is concerned, there is a lot of detail. A lot of detail for a four-inch figure. On the back, you can see the holes where his wings are supposed to pop in. And these are the wings. Again, detail on the wings, on the front and on the back. Let's pop these wings in. Bum -ba -dum. I actually like him. I actually like him a lot, especially because of the wings. I have a thing for characters that have wings. <laughs> but let's see if he can stand on his own. As you can see, both characters can stand on their own. However, when it comes to Hawkman, his wings, the tip of his wings, are also offering a lot of support. So, yeah, he can't really topple over easily. However, as far as the rock, yeah. See? Black Adam can topple easily, but not Hawkman, because the wings are offering him support, too. Now, let's hand these men their accessories. As far as Black Adam's accessories are concerned, we have these yellow lightning bolts. And as far as the accessories for Hawkman are concerned, we have this axe. I'm gonna show the details on the axe. There is detail going on, and the blade also looks weathered in a sense. So there's a detail on the axe. And we have a mace, so you can look at the detail. There's also a strap at the end. 
So yeah, Hawkman comes with two weapons and let's give them to him. So Hawkman really came well equipped. He has a mace, he has an axe, he has this plate thingy going on. So let's let's put them in uh, the cruiser. I have the cruiser over here. Let's have, let's open this up. And let's place Black Adam in the cockpit. Okay, so when it comes to placing the toy inside the cockpit, you have to have them like laying down because if I make, if I want Black Adam to sit in the cockpit like this, yeah, it won't close properly. Like if he's sitting like this as, as he's supposed to, come on, the cockpit won't close properly. So if you want to place a figure inside a four inch figure, yeah, this place it works with other four inch figures too. So if you want to place him inside while keeping the cockpit closed, you'll need to have him laying down a bit like this, laying down, have him lay down and then close it. Now that is a bit disappointing, but then again, if the designers had made the cockpit like a bit bigger, at the top, it wouldn't it wouldn't have resembled the patroller from the movie. So yeah, you win some, you lose some. So yeah, basically, if you want to play with the figures uh, in the cruiser, you'll need to keep yeah keep the top open, keep the cockpit open. However, when it's time for your heroes to move out, you just place them in, close everything. Close everything and it's time for them to fly. Now let's see, let's see if the figures can come out, if they encounter a bit of turbulence or if uh, someone tries to fire at them. Let's see. Yeah. Okay, uh, I'm not, yeah, as you can see, I'm not touching uh, the main area. I think it's called the bay, I could be wrong. So yeah, you can see that the figures won't drop out. I'm shaking it a lot. Even the cockpit, Black Adam is not coming out. Yep. Okay, so, so okay, that's good to know that when the kids are playing, the figures will, will not come out of the patroller. So that's great. And to make sure that the, that this area is closed properly, you have to uh, you have to listen for the clicks. If you guys notice here, there are like these little nubs at the end of the door. So they just click into place. Oh, all over here, do you? And your figures will not come out. So yeah, thank you to Spin Master for sending over these Black Adam toys. I have unboxed them in front of you. I have showed you what I liked about them and my nitpicks. So yeah, if you have someone in your life who is a fan of Black Adam, the movie, then yeah, I would recommend going ahead and checking these toys out. Especially because, in my opinion, they do offer a lot when it comes to the price point. And uh, I'll leave a link to an article that I did for the Geek Geary, which showcases other toys in the line as well. And I'll also be leaving down a written review of uh, both of these toys and more of my thoughts. So make sure to check that review out. And yeah, if you have already bought Black Adam toys, what did you think of them? And when it comes to my favorite, um, even though I like the inscription on the outfit, when it comes to actual play sessions, I would go for the patroller cruiser because you get two figures and you get an entire cruiser, uh, which you can also use with other toys, other four inch figures. So that, that as a toy, it offers a lot. But yeah, let me know your thoughts down in the comment section below. And until next time, stay happy, stay safe, stay blessed. See you guys later.